The Adult Potato is an internet-based parody cartoon series that integrates factual events and locales with fictional characters for the purpose of satire and comedic commentary. Any resemblance of these fictional characters to actual persons, living or dead, is purely coincidental and not intentional unless specifically stated. Despite the factual nature of some content, the series should not be interpreted as a reliable source of news or factual information. The creators, producers and distributors of the adult potato expressly disclaim any liability for misunderstandings or actions taken based on the show's content. This show is intended for adult audiences, so even I can't watch it. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to another episode of The Adult Potato. I'm Fiona Tater. We're killing two birds with one stone today by shooting the episode while training for the Spargstoberfest 5K. This episode is going to be a little different. Instead of us telling you about what's going on in our little town, you are telling us what's happening. We put out a call on Facebook to hear what's going on from your point of view, and you did not disappoint. Here's our first anonymous contribution. Several people sent us messages on this one, so we picked one to represent them all. I don't know who's raising these bratty teenage girls these days, but these mini Karens are the most entitled little brats that I've ever seen. I hope they act the same way at home to their parents as they do in the park to the rest of us because their parents are the ones that deserve the snotty attitudes, not the public. I hope you're ready to take care of their babies when they have them because the way they're acting, you're going to be grandparents soon and God knows those girls aren't fit to raise any kids. Maybe you'll do better with the grandkids than you did with your own kids. Wow. Okay then, no sugarcoating on that one. Let's go with a more gentle one next. Sending gratitude to Marianne DeSico for consistently showing us the beauty in Wellington with all the photos of flowers from around town. It's the first thing I look for on Facebook and it makes me smile every single time. Thank you for sharing the beauty with us. What a great message. And I agree, I look for Marianne's posts as well. I mean, I know she'll never take a photo from my yard because I don't have any flowers and my yard's a mess, but at least I can see pictures of flowers from someone else's yard. Nicely done. And I wish that you hadn't asked to be anonymous because that's such a lovely message. The first one? That one, I can definitely see why they wanted to be anonymous. But yours was just sweet. Here's one about the adult potato. While you don't need to use the language you use, I do appreciate knowing what's going on in town. I just don't think you need to use the curse words you use. Okay, I'll take the positive part from that one because the rest of it is more for Spencer and Trish than me, but I'm glad they're getting something from the show. But we've always said that we're definitely not for everyone. Yikes, here's a spicy one. I'm so tired of the bigots in this town especially coming from some of the churches. Christianity is about loving your neighbors, not telling people they're going to hell because of who they are. Jesus would be ashamed of you. If your preacher is teaching hate, it's time to find a new preacher. Oh, and a lot of you are hypocrites. You can't be on meth and say you live by a book that says your body is supposed to be a temple. Well, no holding back on that one. Holy cow, that's a loaded one. Um... Okay, let's see what else we got. I know you're sleeping with my boyfriend. Wait until you find out he has crabs. Oh my God, that turned south pretty quickly. Small town drama on full display right there. Let's see if we can wrap this up on a good note. Man, support Wellington and shop in town whenever possible. If they don't have what you need, buy it off Amazon because the town makes a lot of money off taxes from Amazon. I believe I was told it's the biggest source for sales tax revenue for the town. I did not know that. I didn't realize that I've been supporting the town this whole time when I buy hundreds of dollars of useless stuff in a drunken state at one o'clock in the morning. I feel better about my life choices now. Thank you for sharing that. 
we have a few items of our own that we want to bring up. First off, there is a position available on the Parks and Rec Board. Applications need to be submitted by noon on September 7th. It's a great way to learn more about what's happening in town and also to help Wellington be the best it can be. It's usually just a monthly meeting, so if you can spare a couple hours each month to help your community, this would be a great way to do it. Finally, don't forget that the Sparkstoberfest 5K is just around the corner. Let's be sure to show that small town support to one of the best things that Wellington has to offer. Sparkstoberfest has been a huge supporter of this community, raising funds for many of our local groups. Let's be sure to return the favor and show up for the 5K. You don't have to run or walk it. Just show up and enjoy the events that Linda Stoddard and her group has put together for everyone. Let's be sure to show our appreciation for all the hard work they've put into the event which is raising money for both the local Kiwanis Club and the American Legion Post. That's it for this week, and please keep the messages coming so we can include them in future episodes. While we can't share all of them, we enjoy picking a few here and there to put in the show. And, like the ones in this episode, we will keep them anonymous unless you specifically tell us that we can mention your name. Enjoy your Labor Day and the weather. We all know it's going to get cold before you know it, and the pumpkin spice will start flowing. Stay safe and lock your doors.